Hey, Chanel here. I'm here with my friend Stacy, who I told you I was going to try to teach to sew. That I'm a bad friend. <laughs> I haven't <laughs> taught her how to sew word. in like 20 years. <laughs> you what? Is it try is the keyword? Try <laughs> is the keyword. This isn't going to be pretty. I'll just cut to the quick clips, okay? <laughs> I'm just going to kind of show her the basics on this and our goal is to like I just made um, a white skirt and tie dyed it and did some stencil work and some rhinestones and trimming and stuff so Stacy is a teacher of yoga and now the melt method and she dresses very casually she's from California she eats avocados no, I'm just kidding <laughs> Daily. <laughs> Daily. No, she doesn't really actually. But she did turn me on to this great avocado mash from Costco. So she did get bonus points for that. Um, anyway, <laughs> so this is the pattern we're going to work with. Basically, I'm really going to be doing like half of it and then kind of showing her how to use the sewing machine. So it, it's a good intro. So she's not going to go through the whole thing because she's only in town for like a day. So that's all I get. And then we, we have filet mignon waiting at the house for us because it cook later on so um so this is the pattern we're gonna do <laughs> she knows me it's very strange this is a pattern we're just some little culottes and it's got little pockets on it and a little drawstring on the bottom and elastic in the waist so with my my students i usually do an elastic skirt to teach them the very basics but this we're going to use kona cotton and then we're gonna um this will be the fun part we're going to have her tie dye it and everything and i'll um i don't know we'll see how much far we can get done today it's a lot of work to do. So right now I'm going to show her how to thread the machine because she doesn't even know how to do that. So there, see, this is all possible. So I'm going to show her how to thread it and then how to maybe make a seam allowance. Like, do you know what a seam allowance is? No. No? No. I know what a regular allowance is. Like you get five bucks a week for doing your chores. Oh, this is like five eighths of a dollar a week. Okay. So I'm going to show her the five eighths inch seam allowance. And then, and then we're going to show her how to sew. So we'll be right back. Okay. So I thought with Stacy, I would first start her on paper like I usually do with my students and have her go through um, just seeing how to maneuver the, the piece of paper through there. Okay, so you gotta put your, press your foot down. So that's the, press, that's the gas pedal. That's the press, press your foot, foot down. 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 And now you're gonna try and um, just, actually you wanna hold it like this. And try and maneuver that through there. Oh, okay. Yeah. So just hit the gas and then try and follow that line. She's a natural. I thought she'd do pretty well with this. Wow. <laughs> the speed's good too, but she's actually a really slow driver. Los <laughs> Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> so she didn't go right here. <laughs> I thought, there. Okay, now how do you. So now try to do that next line. Okay. What you're going to do, you always want your fabric to go out to the left. So you want to pull that. You want to start at it at that That's circle. Right. Yeah. Right. And then pick up your presser foot. I know. I'll show you what pivoting is. And you're going to put your presser foot down. There you go. That's and then you. this is like a pivot point. So see mm -hmm. how you can maneuver that okay, when so. you get there. She's awesome. Nope. <laughs> but go to the next pivot point, and I'll show you. Then I'll show you the little trick. It's called uh, pivoting. Okay, it's so called pivoting. It. Yeah, pivoting. <laughs> okay, stop right okay. there. Uh -huh. So you're gonna go down. Down. Pick up the presser foot. Oh, turn shift, the material. And then put it back down. down. See, that it's back a quick down. Learner. And okay. Then. Now see if you can do the next one like that. Okay, that's the first test to see if somebody has the minimal dexterity to operate a sewing machine. <laughs> and she's passed. So from there, we will go on to the Ta-da! See, that also helps you get comfortable mm -hmm, with, with moving the, the machine. machine. There we go. Ta-da! Ta All right, now, I already kind of showed you how to thread it. Do you think you can... I can try. Try. Yeah. Okay. Before we so take the top of any my little machines here have a great um, little guide indent, mm -hmm. like braille of numbers on it, so it really helps. So 
you should go. So you want to remember four, but you want to take your hand wheel. Oh, go it's got to go up. The, the yeah. Thread the lever up. There you go, right to left, and it scoops it. Yep. In the olden days, you had to thread it, which was almost better. Now remember that's like. Um, where I have to. That little part where you have to clip and. No, actually, we got to remember to get that. So number four here is you're gonna push Line. it through that. Yeah. Everybody forgets that little part, and why that's important is it keeps the thread, I'll show you here, mm -hmm. keeps the thread parallel to the needle. Ah, I gotcha. And that way the machine can drag in the thread evenly instead of at an angle. And then try that white paper trick. Try this one right here. Okay, oh, there's already one. To get the needle threaded. See, I just showed her just before the white paper, I thought, or our um, little river map, as I call it, I showed her how to thread it before. And then I thought, you better run, because she's never even run her machine, just at least run through some paper with it so she gets an idea. Got it in. <laughs> right, so yeah, get it in. And she's brand new with the needles, too. So. This is the part that really takes a lot of time. So you got it? Yeah, I got it. I just got to grab it. There you go. Do -do -loo. Do -do -loo. And then make sure it didn't get twisted around. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, good it's good. Now okay. let's see if she remembers how to the put the bobbin. bobbin in. And it the goes bobbin. in a certain direction. Yep. You're right. It's going clockwise mm -hmm. or counterclockwise. Counter and you drag it underneath the, drag it under. the little gray tongue. Right. And yeah. then now you're gonna hold on to only the top, top one, thread. and you're then gonna I'm go gonna down take this down and get my loop. Right. The hand wheel only goes towards you, which is good. There you go. You got your loop. There you go. Perfect. And then pull the and loop up and out. Pull the loop. And now, up and out, and then I take them both through the tractor feet. What are they called? <laughs> the water skis. Water skis. <laughs> tractor feet. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> I call them, we call them the water skis. Through the middle point. thing of a doohickey. Yeah. And then, and then you cap it. And how do we check if it's in there right? We um, pull the pull the threads, and if it's moving the bobbin, and you see the thread over the bobbin. Yeah. Should the then thread you know going it's over moving. the bobbin? Then you know it got in there right. Yep. Yeah. All right. Cap it. Okay, now I have to show her what a seam allowance is all about. Yep. And <laughs> all that. Be right back. Well, that was easy. <laughs> she did really well. She, I knew she would. So um, she's a an AD uh, assistant director in the direct in the film business and has to use her brain a lot. So I figured there was still some left there for sewing. Just a tad. <laughs> Like five eighths, enough for my seam allowance. She'd be like, do you know fractions? No, I'm too tired. So she picked up the threading really easy, and um, so we're gonna practice more with her on that. But we're gonna do a, I'm gonna just have her do a seam allowance uh, thing right now. And I gave her this flyer a minute ago, and she's one of the only people that actually read it. <laughs> it was like, I went to go iron the fabric, and she was reading it, and I was like, well, that's impressive. Anyway, <laughs> most people go, what? I just want to see the pictures. That's, that'd be me. Anyway. Information is so, key. <laughs> information is key. So, and I, I forgot, I read, I wrote this and I was like, hey, that's pretty good. Anyway, so, I know. I should read my own stuff. Anyway, <laughs> so it says, a seam allowance is a fabric extension past the seam you'll be sewing. So I'm going to show her that. And I have, these are from my little students, um, my little kid students that I put, um, it's called a cheat sheet. I can show them where five eighths is, where the one inch is, the half inch, that kind of thing. So um, I just give it to them to say, you know, when you forget where the five eighths is at on the measurement gauge, that's what we, we do. So we're going to be using this measurement gauge two pieces of fabric. We're just gonna do a real quick, um, so Stacy just sewed on paper without thing, threaded it, and now we're just gonna sew real quick on um, with some thread and some fabric and see that. And then we're gonna go into cutting out this pant pattern. So um, we will show you how, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Okay, so we're just gonna be matching up the raw edges of the fabric and then Put some light on this. <laughs> A little light on the subject. And then Stacy's gonna mark uh, just real Five, just some dashes. Yeah, just some dashes there to show um, the difference from the raw edge to the mark. What a five eighths inch seam allowance is. And then we'll just then I'll have her pin it the correct way. There's a few different correct ways to pin. And um, I think about, ta -da! that was cool. Mm -hmm. Now we're just gonna pin it and you wanna, you're, um, yeah, 
I'm gonna pin this way. Yeah, pin that way and then up. I just put about maybe five pins in that whole strip. That just kind of keeps the fabric together. While you're sewing, the fabrics actually move a little bit, so it keeps it in, um, evenly distributed. And uh, also, if it's a real slippery fabric, then that really moves around. But these cottons are a little bit easier. They're stiffer. And then, what you want to do too, this down, is it, um, I didn't really show you what the reverse does. Um, but let's say we're, we always do these like reverse bubbles. So you'll start here and then reverse stitch it here. And then oh, okay. we'll sew along here. And there's probably put a little bit more in here. Okay. And then we'll just sew a real quick stitch. You'll get used to it. I'm really good at eyeballing where 5 eighths is at because I've done it for so long. Okay, Ooh. now we'll get to the machine. Okay, to the machine. Okay, we're at the machine and then now let's see, she's gonna put it underneath the presser foot. Take out your, yeah, just put your presser foot down and take out your first pin. Put it on the pin catcher. And you're gonna go a couple stitches in reverse. There you go. Go a little bit further back too. There you go. There you go. Okay, now go forward. And we're doing white on white, I guess. Is yeah, we probably should have done a different done. thread, right? Yeah. But we're not teaching sewing here. We're just <laughs> just seeing if Stacy can. We're just getting Stacy the basics. And we need the white thread for our project. Kona cotton and the wovens are one of the easiest things to work on. See how the top layer is moving more than the bottom layer? Yeah. But that's why we pin stuff. So. Should it's I put a, more pins in? No, nah, it's just it's about getting used to different fabrics. All will always just kind of change differently. It's called differential feed. Okay. Uh, which my machine doesn't have a control for that. But I just over the years I've just learned how to control it really well. So, so it's just yeah, a practice right. makes perfect. But it's always so on practice. Yeah. I'm just put that one in there. And go forward again. Now you're gonna pick up the presser foot and then pull it out. And you might want to pull your needle up. You're gonna go like this. There okay. Go. Pull my needle you feel up. That loop pull it. Yep. And, and then I can cut it. Cut it. Ta da! All right. So that's your first seam. Woohoo! Woohoo! Stacy did good. Your first seam. <laughs> and your seam allowance. It looks like a seam. All right. So I think then I normally with my students I would teach them how to press this and everything, but we're gonna get right into the pants. Yes. Pants. We have Stacy off the bolt. I thought she would enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> We're just tearing it so we can get it right on the grain. Tearing along the cross grain. Okay, now we got some fabric to work with. Just do. It. And I'm pinning this part. Um, just yeah. Just put a couple pins in there. Okay. Because really just yeah. The most important right now, we'll just do like a pin, then they'll actually just reach over and pin this, then we can just cut it. Okay. After that. And I go with the wide circle, right? The wide. The darker one. The darker one, so yeah. that's the closer one. Yeah. And Stacy is zigzagging the top open. We did all the pressing work right here. We pressed all the seams up on the pocket, and now she's doing a little zigzag stitch uh, opening. Are we going to tell the audience why we did a zigzag? I was going to leave it out, but if you want to, what'd you do? I, I cut my cuts too close to the edge, so in order to salvage it and keep it from fraying, we did a zigzag to cover it up. Right. She, you know, when you do the clips and curves to whenever you have a curve, she got a crazy with the scissors. <laughs> did a little clip in too deep, so we now we zigzag it, and then it just prevents it from flaking out when you wash it. So, and then the zigzag is a nice little detail stitch on it. So we got our pockets prepared. Now we're going to put them onto the pants. Okay, now we got to line up. The pocket under the fabric, we have the marks from the pattern we put on there. And then we just match up the dots to the pocket edge, pin it, and put the pins in the direction we're going to be so pulling them out when yeah. we get it into the machine. And then we're going to sew it. 
Okay, so Stacy and I just went to lunch to Alino's Pizza. It was so good. So good. Oh my God. That's her favorite when she's in town. <laughs> and we are discussing what colors to tie-dye this, and she wants to do the, like a pink and black. So I have this one tie-dye that's like an orchid color. And um, then we thought, put a little trim around the pocket, and I had this 100% cotton rick wrap that was a vintage piece. It's 25 cents. I got it in one of my little donations from um, people here that they clean out their mom's Thank you, donors. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> and we thought, that's 100% cotton. It'll pick up the tie-dye fabric. So um, Stacy's about to go and stitch this down. She's got the pocket pinned down, and then I'm going to She's going to stitch it. We'll see how she does. Fingers crossed. All right, Stacy's in position. Da -da -da -da. Da -da. <coughs> Low and steady wins the race. Where'd the pedal go? You have long legs, so you keep moving the pedal. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> My little shorties don't work. <laughs> My little shorties. might take like an hour. Yeah, it might take a little bit of time. <laughs> Make you do all the hard stuff. <laughs> Gotta learn the hard stuff somehow, right? I just found out Stacy's mom was a sewer. She sewed all my kids as a, all my clothes as a kid. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> she, <laughs> She was left-handed, so when she tried to teach me, she taught me from the other side of the machine, and I was like, I cannot convert that. And also, sometimes when family members teach you, it's a, it's a. It wasn't frustrating. My mom was awesome. It was just one of those things where it's like, I, I, I guess my, my little pea brain couldn't uh, convert. Are you a little kid? Uh, no, I was in high school. <laughs> high school. Uh, yeah, I ra I'd rather play tennis and hang out with my boyfriend, I think is really what that came to. All right, so, so I, I so rotate needles this. Needles down, yeah. Needles so down. Pick up your presser foot. Oh, okay. forget pick up. That darn presser foot's always in my way. That's what everybody always messes up. I do. That's what I've been talking about. fabric in the archway there. Yep. Okay, and I already did my... all the way through. Yep, I already did my little... There you go. My little flippy floppy, and so... Don't forget to put your presser foot back down. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Maybe not that hard. Right? 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 You're doing pretty good. It's working here. Don't jinx it. All right, don't jinx it. It <laughs> would be a jinx it. Finish, so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see the outfit finished in product in a second. Okay. Now we have the pockets done, and then Stacy, she did well, <laughs> is going to now do the inseam. We have to sew the inseam. So we just fold it right sides together, match them up, and we'll pin them. I showed her how to do it on this one here. Match it up. Pin it and then we'll sew the inseams. All right, so we got our inner seams done, and now I showed Stacy how we put one leg inside the other to uh, make this work. <laughs> get this. So we're trying to get into the crotch seam. Aren't we all? <laughs> Stacy. <laughs> Sorry, can you put that on YouTube? <laughs> Sure. Okay. Why not? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think she's got it. I need some pins. <laughs> there you go. Right. So what so. you've done is you got the ones inside out, the two crotch seams, and then she's got one leg inside the other, and she's going after that the curvy um, seam. Curvy seam. Then you pin them and think about the direction you're going to sew them in. So if I'm going to sew it this way, I'm going to mm. pin it this way. Actually, let's think about maybe you're going to start this way. Then you're going to start okay, so, here. Okay. And then sew and it then that way. Then work my way around. Yeah. Right. See? Uh -huh. 
I always try to think about how it's going to go into the machine before you get there and then it's so you don't bunch it up under the machine. Yeah, it eliminates frustration as beer does. <laughs> beer and sewing, that will be our beer. next one. Yeah. Or at least a glass of wine if it wasn't a afternoon. White wine. <laughs> white, white wine. White when wine. You're working with white. Yeah. <laughs> no rosés, no reds. No rosés, no reds. Matching those up. And the crotch seems to be matched up. And then the tops. We'll mark it five eighths and sew it. Ta -da. Perfect. Okay, Stacy, show us what you got. She sewed the crotch seam. She's turning them inside out. I got pants. I got pants. <laughs> They look big. Clones. They look so big. <laughs> she, li she likes them. They are so. Cool. Okay, so now we have to do the waist casing. So yes. we're going to mark this. Okay. And then put a drawstring in there. <laughs> oh my god, I see a huge mistake. What did we do? Oh wait, what happened? <laughs> Pretend you didn't see that. <laughs> okay. Fully Cut. sober. <laughs> Fully sober. Fully sober. We did not have beer at lunch. <laughs> Pizza and beer we did not have. We should have. I know. Maybe we didn't have it. Right? <laughs> this is how we turn a mistake into a really cool creative. thing. Just to get a new start, a new style. That's a creative. Everybody's going to start copying us. I know, right? <gasps> okay. I'm going to show her how to do the waist casing. Waist casing. <laughs> All right, we got Stacy at the ironing board. She's pressing the casing. She went two inches over and then a half inch under to develop the casing where the elastic's going to live. So do some pressing and get it real firm, marked out well, and then it'll be easier to sew. Prepping her waist casing to be sewn, marking it and pinning it, pinning in the direction she's going to pull them out. We'll just zip this through the machine, put the elastic in, and we'll try them on. Okay, she's sewing. all stitched down. She knows how to do that. She wears a lot of hoodies. <laughs> I lose the strings. All the drawstrings fall out and she's got to put it through. I actually have a lot of people that can't do this. It's funny. Really? Yeah. This is like the easiest thing I've done all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, especially my little kids. They're always like, I can't do this. Well, I'm that's like, a dexterity trying. thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. I make them suffer through it because it's really good for them to figure it out. <laughs> almost the almost pants. Okay, Stacy got her elastic through now, and now she has to sew the elastic together. Wait, she got to put her presser foot. Presser foot. Oh, presser foot. I always forget about that damn thing. I know everybody does. They have machines that won't let you sew until you put the presser foot down. I'd like to get my next machines. I'm going to get one of those. If I can pull it up for my pivot. Yeah. Yeah, and then 
pivot. And then you keep the needle down in there, and then when you pivot, it keeps it in place. And then you never put the hand on the other backwards. Because uh, then you'll, you'll see this big little thread come out. It'll, it'll be fine. All right, okay, she's got it. We'll try the pants on next. Okay, Stacy has her pants on. How do they look? They look like pants. Pants. Now we gotta go. You know, we gotta finish the the hems. The hems on them. The drawstring. The drawstring and the tie dye. The tie dye. And then we have real pants. She's got her casing done. And button the little buttonholes in there. Buttonholes. Buttonholes. I actually did those for her. I didn't want her to get too frustrated. She didn't want That's me to the screw them up. Right. <laughs> well, we're in a hurry because we want to go tie dye them. So. Yeah. So we're just putting the little. Draw strings in. We'll draw strings in just to see how it looks. Cause then when we tie dye, we're gonna take them out and uh, tie dye. I'm gonna put them back in. Skipper, skipper, skipper. Okay, we got the pants done. Stacy got the whole little drawstring in there. Like where'd they go? Let me see. There we go. You cute. So we just put a black shoelace, the little buttonholes in there, and pants are done. We are off to tie dye. Tie -dye. Woohoo! Pink and black, right? Yep. Any other colors? I don't know. We'll think about it. I like the pink yeah. and black. I know, huh? Mm -hmm. Pretty cute. Yep. All right. Can't wait to see these done. Yay! See you in a minute. We're gonna go do. We're gonna go mess up my house, the kitchen, <laughs> the tie dye. Messing it up. All right. We're at my house in the kitchen. Stacy's rubber banded her pants. Pants together. <laughs> and she's gonna start spraying. Get it into the. Do it in the tub. <laughs> you can actually just drop it into the tub and spray it. Okay. Just there you go. So it doesn't get all over the place. <laughs> and I'm doing pink and black. Dye in her oh yeah, get the crotch seam. <laughs> I forgot about that part. That'd be funny to be all white. <laughs> One white crotch coming up. Sorry, theme is all about crotches here. <laughs> And then you got those black spots. So we've been uh, at home for a little while <laughs> testing some uh, cottons to see how they turn out and Stacy's just gonna go for it. Our testers are outside drying but we we're, just couldn't wait. We're so. too lazy to wait. <laughs> so we're all putting them in there. That looks good. Boy that's gonna be, those are gonna be bright. We should use that glow in the dark one. You want to grab that? <laughs> Let's add the glow in the dark. We'll add some spots of glow in the dark and we'll never know until I'm All in the right. dark. Right. Okay, we'll add it and then we'll. <laughs> Looking good. Okay, we're going to uh, let this dry, we'll reveal it and show you how it looks and we'll add some glow in the dark spray. Actually, yeah, we could do it when it's undone, but I'm so glad you're wearing gloves because that's Especially what I didn't do and it took days to get the blue out of there, out of my fingernails. All right. Okay, our pants are been sitting outside for just about a half hour. It's pretty hot outside. Stacy is I'm doing taking off the last few rubber bands. And then we're gonna dump them in water, kind of blend the pieces together, maybe a little fabric softener. And we'll see how these funky pants turned out. So we're missing Tom Petty. <laughs> Real some states. <laughs> Let's see the reveal. Ooh, those are crazy! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Cute! You can't even tell the pockets are back. And then you can't even see the pockets. See, I knew that was gonna happen. Right? It's so wow! They turned out good. And how's the rick rack? Does it look kind of the rick rack's kind of cool? Dye see, it's the like color the dye took like it in different see? places, so you still have a touch of the white. Cute. All right, so we're gonna dunk them. We're gonna dunk them in water, put a little fabric softener, and then we're gonna dry them. And uh, this, then we'll iron, and then we got our little rhinestones we're gonna put on too. So then I'll show you the big reveal of how cute they are. Uh, <laughs> all right. So it's the next morning. Stacy woke me up and said, "I want to finish my pants. I want to finish my pants." <laughs> We just put the stars on. They look cute in the back. She did good. She put it on the pocket part and then on the lower part. It was her very creative touch. <laughs> Next, she'll probably be making a label that said Stacy Tie Dye. Something like that. 
So, so she just learned how to sew, and this is the big reveal. Ta da! Not bad for a beginner, huh? Looks really good. Thanks. We're very proud of Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us are a little surprised. <laughs> Me being one of them. <laughs> no, she did good. Anyway, so she's going back home, and that was fun. She finally learned how to sew. She's, she's going to take her sewing machine home too and um, keep sewing. So that's a good sign. Inspired her. Probably come up with a whole new label. <laughs> so we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.